and welcome to Auto Today. My name is Dipayan and you're joining me in Jaipur for the review of this. This is the brand new Hero Extreme 160 R4V and as the name denotes, it gets an updated engine with four valves in the head. But aside from that, there are a whole lot of other changes. So let's quickly jump into the changes and see what all has changed from the 160R to the 4V. Now starting at the front of the new 160R 4V, of course you get 17 inch wheels in alloys, short in CS zoom tyres, 100 section across. You get a 272mm pedal disc with single channel ABS. But the big change up front are these two new gold USD Fox that you see up here. There's 37mm Kayaba Fox and they're supposed to improve the handling of the 160R exponentially. Of course, this is only available on the Pro variant, whereas the Showa 7-step adjustable rear monoshock is available as standard on the 160R 4V. Now, of course, there are a few design tweaks to make it look more aggressive. As you can see, the headlamp cluster has moved a little downward to give it that forward leaning stance. Fairings on the tank have also gotten more downward and more projected to give you that big tank feel when you're sitting on it. And of course, as you can see, there's this new designs theme. The Pro variant also gets this really cool looking split seat with this splitter in the middle in, of course, the fluorescent color, which does look really good. Now, of course, the lighting is all LED, which means you get an LED headlamp up front, an LED tail light at the back, and all four winkers are LED too. Now, the instruments have not been updated from the 160, which means you still get a white on black LCD display, but it has been updated slightly to now have some phone connectivity options, including call and message readouts right from the instrument cluster. Of course, the 160R 4V does still miss out on navigation, which may be something that Hero looks at in the future. But for now, you do get a mobile app that works well to give you a whole lot of telemetric data after your ride. Now that said, the biggest change of course with the 160R 4V is this motor that now gets a 4 valve head and oil cooling. Which means that it makes about 16 bhp right now, which is a whole bhp more than it used to. But it's still not the most powerful bike in the segment. That said, the 160R 4V is the lightest bike in the segment and that should account for something given that the difference in power between this and its competitors are not all that much. Now before we go out onto the track and give you our riding impressions, let's get in the saddle and tell you what the ergonomics of the 160R 4V now are, now that it's slightly wider and looks slightly different from its predecessor. That starts with the seat, of course, which is very accessible at 795 millimeters, which should be accessible for riders from 411 onwards with more than enough space. Because the seat is nice and long, you can adjust yourself backwards or forwards as you see fit and depending on your riding style. In general, the rider's triangle is, of course, still quite upright. You ride in an upright posture, even though the foot pegs are slightly more forward set than before. This also means that when you want to get tucked in, you can and these knee recesses do give you enough space to grip onto when you're in a corner, which is really nice. But now let's take her out and give you our impressions of how she rides. Now that we spent some time in the saddle of the 160R 4V, it's time to talk a little about how it rides. Now, there's a lot of headlines that Hero are trying to grab with this motorcycle saying that it is the quickest 260 and it is the lightest motorcycle in its category making it thereby the quickest motorcycle in its category. Now straight off the line this is something that you're going to feel the 160 engine is very quick off the line and has a more or less linear power band all the way to the 8000 rpm red line where you start to get a little bit of a trail off as you approach that rev limiter. That said, the new big change for me is of course the suspension which makes the feedback to the rider a whole lot clearer which means that you're more confident in the corners especially while leaned over. The CX Zoom tyres actually do a really good job especially when it comes to edge grip which is something I was not confident about riding CX for the first time on a track but they really performed well. Now the suspension both on the road and on the track has been spectacular. It's good enough to absorb most of the bumps on the road 
and on the track it gives you that really sharp precise feedback that you need to line up the motorcycle perfectly in the corner now another thing i want to talk about are of course the brakes which come from a 272 mm disc at the front and a 230 mm disc at the back now of course the braking is a little bit of an overkill considering the fact that this bike weighs only 144 kilos which is the lightest bike in this class another big change as far as i'm concerned from the engine of course is the refinement from this single cylinder engine with almost no vibes right all the way to the 8000 rpm mark once you're approaching the lead line there are some vibes that come in through the foot pegs and on the handlebar but that said the response otherwise is really good another thing i don't like about the 160 r 4v is of course the five speed gearbox that the 160 engine is paired to it feels a little mushy and does not really have those very slick upshifts and downshifts which means that you're going to be uh, working your feet a little bit to find the gear there are a couple of false neutrals that we found as well but i don't think this is an issue that is a deal breaker as far as the 160 r 4 goes Now the Hero Extreme 160 R4V will be available in three flavors the standard which gets the single seat and without the connected instruments the connected which gets the single seat but with the connected instruments and of course this pro variant that gets this unique color scheme as well as the connected instruments as well as this really cool looking split seat now as far as the positioning of the 160 goes in the segment it is pretty much in the middle of the segment between the two competitors from bajaj and tvs but as far as this motorcycle in particular is concerned i think it's come leaps and bounds from where it was it's a lot more refined it's a lot easier to ride it's a lot sharper in the corners and i would go out as much to say that this is probably now the most sporty 160 motorcycle that you can buy in the market and it matches that with good build quality and a great ride both out on the road as well as on the track and i think that's what makes this new 160 r4v all that more special thank you so much for watching auto today if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button it means so so much to us and if you aren't already subscribed to the auto today channel do that now and hit that little bell icon so you're notified every time we drop a new video thank you so much for watching this is dd signing off